Sick of being told that there's nothing you can do for your tinnitus? Hi guys, Rachel Cook, Doctor of Audiology at Modern Tinnitus, and in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you the four best treatments for tinnitus, coming up. You don't need me to tell you that tinnitus sucks. You know this already, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. And as someone with tinnitus, you know that that ringing and buzzing in your head can go from mildly annoying to extremely frustrating with the snap of a finger. Unfortunately, chances are if you've ever mentioned tinnitus to your primary care physician or an ENT provider, they probably told you that there's nothing you can do and that you'll just have to learn to live with it. But why is this the case? Well, basically, this is due to lack of information. You see, most physicians have little to no training about the causes of tinnitus or the treatment options that have been proven by research to be effective at treating tinnitus. Due to this, most tinnitus sufferers who are looking for relief end up feeling discouraged because they truly believe that there is no relief for tinnitus. And in the absence of credible treatment options, people often flock to the internet. There, they are often sold on different tinnitus supplements, eardrops, or other gimmicks that are not backed by research and do nothing to treat their tinnitus. Fortunately, there are tinnitus treatments that are effective at either reducing your tinnitus or changing how you perceive your tinnitus. And today, I will be covering four of the best tinnitus treatment options that have been proven by research in this video. But before I do that, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up to bring videos like these to a wider audience. And if you have not yet already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button with notification bell so that you never miss any one of our newly released videos. And a big thank you to Neuromod for sponsoring today's video, but more on them in a little bit. Also, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you've ever been told that there's nothing you can do to treat your tinnitus. The first research-proven tinnitus treatment is Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT. CBT is a very well-known and well-accepted modality in the field of psychology. It focuses on improving negative interactions between your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Studies have shown that CBT is effective in 50 to 80% of tinnitus sufferers in reducing tinnitus distress and improving quality of life. This model of therapy is often used to treat a wide variety of mental health conditions but it's also very effective for treating tinnitus through something called habituation. Habituation is the diminishment of a psychological or emotional response to a repeated stimulus. Here's a good example of habituation in your daily life. Let's say you move in with your partner only to find that they have a clock up on the wall that makes an audible tick every single second. At first, you may say something about just how annoying that ticking sound is, only for your partner to say that that clock has been in their family for several generations and it is not going anywhere. While it may annoy you for the first couple of days, eventually the novelty and the fun of unpacking and designing your new space takes over, and after a few days, you may not even notice the tick of the clock anymore at all. Obviously, this also means that it's no longer annoying to you. Basically, if you're able to habituate to your tinnitus, it means that you're still able to perceive your tinnitus you just don't have a negative response to it anymore. Components for CBT in managing tinnitus are numerous, including restructuring thought patterns, stress and anxiety management, behavioral exposure, coping strategies, and relaxation and mindfulness. Research studies consistently show that CBT is effective in reducing the emotional distress that comes with tinnitus, such as anxiety, depression, and irritability. These benefits of CBT are often long-lasting and can be completed in a number of different ways. These include in-person or telehealth sessions, seeing a tinnitus specialist or psychologist, and even through the use of digital therapeutic apps. Just keep in mind that depending on the severity of your tinnitus, self-guided CBT may not be as effective as seeing a professional who specializes in CBT for effective tinnitus management. Nevertheless, CBT is one of the most successful and research-proven ways to treat your tinnitus. The second research-proven tinnitus treatment is Tinnitus Retraining Therapy, or TRT. TRT is based on the neurophysiological model of tinnitus and combines cognitive behavioral therapy with sound therapy. Sound therapy uses either sound generators or hearing aids to provide low-level neutral sounds. These include things like white noise or nature sounds to make tinnitus less noticeable. It's often applied at something called a mixing point. 
This is a volume level where it doesn't completely mask over the tinnitus, but rather blends with it. This allows the brain to reclassify tinnitus as a neutral or insignificant sound to aid in habituation. This sound therapy can help some individuals habituate to their tinnitus better or faster than with CBT alone. And if you already have an existing hearing loss, TRT may include the use of combination devices. These use sound therapy options in combination with amplification to provide support with both hearing and tinnitus. Studies have shown that TRT is effective for about 60 to 80% of tinnitus sufferers within about six to 12 months, which is terrific if you're willing to wait for the benefits. Regardless, TRT is also an extremely effective option for treating tinnitus. The third research-backed way to treat your tinnitus is through the use of properly fit and programmed hearing aids. A whopping 90% of individuals who have tinnitus also have hearing loss. In fact, the cause of tinnitus for many people is the lack of auditory information, making it from the ears up to the brain. That's why it makes sense that treating an underlying hearing loss with hearing aids would help reduce the perception of tinnitus. Approximately 60 to 80% of individuals who have tinnitus experience a reduction in their tinnitus symptoms when wearing hearing aids. Some individuals even receive something called residual inhibition. This is where their tinnitus perception is reduced for a period of time, even after their hearing aids are removed from their ears. Of course, the amount of tinnitus relief that you receive receive is dependent on how well your hearing aids are programmed. But in many cases, the reduction in tinnitus can be noticed almost instantaneously. But relatively speaking, if you do have an untreated hearing loss in combination with tinnitus, hearing aids are going to be one of the best treatment options for both. This leads us to the fourth research-backed way to treat your tinnitus, which is bimodal neuromodulation using the Lanier tinnitus treatment device from Neuromod, today's video sponsor. Bimodal neuromodulation is an advanced therapeutic approach that combines the stimulation of two sensory pathways to change brain activity and reduce the negative impact of tinnitus. In the case of Lanier, it combines custom tailored sound therapy through the ears using Bluetooth headphones, with mild somatosensory stimulation via the tongue using their proprietary tongue tip stimulator. Bimodal neuromodulation is actually already used to manage other health conditions, such as chronic pain and insomnia. However, in the case of tinnitus, bimodal neuromodulation is used to adjust activity in the auditory cortex and other areas of the brain that are responsible for tinnitus perception. By stimulating two sensory pathways at the same time, it increases treatment effectiveness over stimulation just one pathway alone. In fact, in the most recent TENT A3 clinical trial that resulted in FDA de novo approval of the Lanier device, 70.5% of treatment participants saw a clinically meaningful reduction in tinnitus using bimodal neuromodulation when sound therapy provided no meaningful reduction. And 88.6% of treatment participants would recommend Lanier for the treatment of tinnitus. And in a retrospective real-world analysis of Lanier, 89.2% of patients saw benefit from bimodal neuromodulation using Lanier in as little as 12 weeks. This means that bimodal neuromodulation is one of the most effective tinnitus treatment options that the world has ever seen. And this is based on real world results from patients and clinical research data. Wondering if bimodal neuromodulation could be an option for you? Only a comprehensive tinnitus evaluation will reveal if you are a good candidate for the Lanier tinnitus treatment device. If you would like to find out if you're a candidate for this brand new clinically proven tinnitus treatment device, visit www.lanier.com to find an approved Lanier provider in your area. As you can see, regardless of what you've heard from your physician or from other people online, there are several treatment options out there that are effective at reducing the awareness and disturbance of your tinnitus. Let's do a quick recap of these four research-backed tinnitus treatments. First, we had cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, to help you habituate to the sound of your tinnitus. Second, we had tinnitus retraining therapy, or TRT, that combined the benefits of CBT with sound therapy to improve and speed up this habituation. Third, we had properly fit and programmed hearing aids that had the ability to replace missing sound to your brain caused by hearing loss to reduce the phantom perception of ringing and buzzing. And fourth, we had bimodal neuromodulation using the Lanier tinnitus treatment device that combines auditory stimulation and tongue tip stimulation 
to modulate neural activity in the brain. Each of these treatment options have been shown to be effective at treating tinnitus. However, what works best for someone else may not be what works best for you. This is why I always recommend that you see a hearing care professional who specializes in tinnitus to discuss which one of these tinnitus treatment options would be the best for you. Only after a comprehensive hearing and tinnitus evaluation should a recommendation be made for one or more of these treatment options. And once you get scheduled, I am confident that you will never again be told that there's nothing you can do about your tinnitus.